Update 1.8 for World of Tanks is approaching. This video will tell you how daily missions replaced the reward for merit, what rewards await for completing them, how session statistics changed, when you can go to frontline, and how you can get the rarest vehicles for expedition. Learn about all the new features right now. With Update 1.8, daily missions will replace the reward for merit. There are three missions with varying degrees of difficulty. You can view the mission's conditions and the rewards in the garage. This way, you know right away what you need to do in battle to achieve the desired result. The higher the mission difficulty, the bigger the reward. All three missions are completed simultaneously. If you don't like one of them, you can change its conditions once every four hours. If you don't manage to complete them in 24 hours, the missions will be transferred to the next day, and the completed missions will change to new ones. Depending on the mission category, you can get the following rewards. An automatic fire extinguisher, large first aid kit or large repair kit, credits, random blueprint fragments, bonds, free experience, or crew books. When all three missions are completed, a fourth bonus mission will become available until the end of the day. Its condition will be more challenging, but it can earn you a bigger prize. It can be credits, free experience, random blueprint fragments, bonds, a slot in the garage, or a demounting kit. Points are credited for completing the daily missions, including the bonus mission, and also missions provided by World of Tanks Premium account. One mission equals one point. Once a special bar is filled, you can get 100 bonds and one of the following possible rewards. Personal reserves for experience, a universal training manual, or a day of World of Tanks premium account. More information about daily missions is available in the article on the official website. In Update 1.8, session statistics became even more detailed. New parameters were added. Victory rate average number of enemy vehicles destroyed or spotted, average vehicle tier for the session, and the survival rate. You can adjust the session statistics as you like to see only the parameters you need. For example, keep only the parameters useful for the time being. There can be no more than seven of them displayed at the same time. You can also select one of two options for showing economic parameters, displaying the amount of credits and bonds, taking into account all spending, and then the general amount of earned currency or vice versa to focus on the general income for the session. Additionally, the option of not resetting your statistics each day appeared, as well as the option of saving the last selected tab. These new features are aimed at making session statistics more in-depth and personalized for every player. Sometime after the release of Update 1.8, on March 9th to be precise, the first of four frontline stages will start. The mode kept its rules, but its details changed. Both maps, Normandy and Kraftwerk, underwent balance changes. The mechanics of deployment on the battlefield were also improved. Now you can choose one of several points. This will let you control your respawn position on the map based on the battle situation and your vehicle's capabilities. The Airstrike Combat Reserve is now more different from Artillery Strike. The wait time before the airstrike itself was reduced, and it's now easier to cause maximum damage to lightly armored vehicles. The progression changed significantly. In each of the four frontline stages, there will be 15 levels with rewards instead of 30. You still earn frontline experience depending on the rank you received in battle, and move along the progression. There are no prestige levels. After you reach level 15, Special daily missions will become available, which you can complete during one stage. Frontline is a part of Expedition, a bigger event. After Frontline, Steel Hunter will be launched in the second half of the year. In addition to many other rewards, you can also receive special tokens. You can exchange them for these Tier 9 tanks, the Object 777 Version 2, Shao Future 4, or AE Phase 1. You will be able to get one of them after the four Frontline stages. Visit the game's website to learn more about the changes to Frontline. That's all for now. Enter the game, complete new daily missions, adjust your session statistics as you like, and prepare for the massive expedition. Good luck on the battlefield.